cited uh, several individuals which I shall bring forth the list of the names and some names that I may not have gotten. Those individuals, according to the indictment sealed, are waiting for the U.S. Special Force. Are waiting for the U.S. Special Force to immediate. The U.S. Special Force has already surrounded the area, and are waiting for U.S. Congress to issue the authorizations. Uh, you all know what is going on in the Southern Cameroon Territory and the continual recalcitrant of the neighboring country, La Republic du Cameroon related to ongoing genocide and murdering that is being carried out by the La Republic military and certain individuals has been indicted. Uh, some of the names that I'm going to be presented here are, so, but why is this indictment? Uh, those individuals uh, include uh, uh, General René Meka, uh, F. Ngongo, uh, Paul Bia, uh, Issa Shiruma Bakari, uh, Paul Atangaji, uh, uh, Konisa Mengi Nduba Etienne, Colonel uh, Josa David, uh, General uh, Aga Robinson, Colonel Didier Bajek, uh, Colonel Buba and uh, Rene Sadi, uh, Joseph Betty Asomo, Etoga Galazi Yvette, Laurent Esso, uh, Miniette Libon, uh, Lele Afrique, and Okalia Bilan. Those are the list of the sealed individuals. They will be picked up if the U.S. Congress give, issue the authorization. They will be immediately transported to Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. That is under the surveillance of the United States. So why is this so urgent? Uh, there is an indication that the United States government is constantly monitored through satellite images at least 15 seconds per 15 minutes per per, uh, per hour, 15, uh, 15 minutes every single, um, so those individuals that have shortlisted their names and their whereabouts, their movement are strictly monitored closely, including their homes, their residential area where they travel to and where which area at every 15 minutes satellite images bring that to the U.S. Special Defense Department um, for immediate monitor. They are waiting for the U.S. Congress to issue an authorization. Once that authorization has been issued because the seal indictment has already been written and waiting for the U.S. Congress. Once the U.S. Congress issued the authorization, those set individuals will be immediately picked up by the U.S. Special Force that has already surround the entire La Republic area. They are constantly monitoring their movement, where they go, where they are, at every 15 seconds. And satellite images sent straight to the U.S. Special Force that are closely monitoring their whereabouts. This is a latest development, and those names that I may not have some here with me, but those that are involved in atrocity that are ongoing, that will be the first test of President Donald Trump's his power that he has been engaging, looking for. This is an opportunity for the U.S. President Donald Trump to show his force that Although he uh, has his own personal issues that is going, but he want to let Africa know that the United States is not going to be romancing with dictatorship and that the United States can act irrespective of any other international norms or international community. Donald Trump is a very excellent individual that has been paying close attention as though he's not watching. 
And so he has asked the U.S. Department of Defense and they have mapped all the strategic location of these individuals and immediately forward the seal indictment, uh, waiting immediately for the U.S. Congress to issue the authorization. Once the U.S. Congress issued the authorization, the U.S. Special Force that is already surrounding the area, mapping all the areas of the strategic that movement of the following individual that I'm going to read the name again in a second time. General Rene Meka, Ngongo, uh, Paul Bia, uh, Issa Shiruma, Paul Tanganji, uh, 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 General Mengisu Muba, uh, Colonel Josa David, uh, General uh, Ala Robinson, Colonel Didier Bajek, uh, Colonel Buba, uh Bridget, I can't get the name clearly. Uh Rene Sadi, Joseph Betty Asomo, uh Etuga Galaxy Event, uh Laurent Esso, uh Minette Libon, uh Lele Afrik and Okadia Bilan. Those are the names that have just come close to me and other names I will be make available of if that information become available. So those are the list of the seal indictment that has been made available by the US, uh, to the US Special Force that are already in that location waiting for authorization of the US Congress. Once that authorization is sealed, they will be immediately picked up because all the satellite images, special equipment, special surveillance cameras, special U.S. military, top, top military are already monitored very closely their movement, their location every 15 seconds. And the satellite images are being forwarded to the U.S. Special Force Unit. And they're closely monitored. And any attempt by the land, probably when the U.S. Special Force uh, uh, goes uh, into La Republic and any attempt by any U.S. and any La Republic military to uh, execute any plan, they will meet the worst devastations because the U.S. Marine, U.S. Air Force and all the defense systems shall all be closely monitored. Any attempt or movement by the La Republic military will be meet very strongly with the worst force. And this is the latest breaking news. This is Wundam Daniel speaking here from the great state of Texas here in the United States. Have a wonderful day.